do the intro for a change because I I've done like the past twenty. That's because you take so long when you're like me and me too and Mickey here. So I'm like, okay, I mean, come on, waiting, always waiting. That's what happens. Get a wife, you're always waiting on them. Remember that. Oh. <laughs> 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 Remember that. Nope, I don't want to get. I that. never do that to you. <laughs> you don't. I do not. Hello. <laughs> Who does it better? Ado. Ado Obero. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, remember that uh, uh, 1,000 pound watch? Where is that? Hmm? What about watch? Big waste of money because you never wear it. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what it is. You got two watches. I do. And you don't wear any of I'm them. I'm wearing two watches. Why don't, don't you wear one. them lately? Because I'm fat as f- <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <mine. laughs> Are you actually like, do they not fit you? Not that they don't fit me, they're just not as comfortable as They're a bit of a squeeze. It's not as comfortable. I mean, the the McLaren watch is all right because it's like... The McLaren watch is good. (laughs) It's got multiple, like, it's because it's a regular strap, but my my other tag, um, because it's a bracelet, is quite tight. Oh, a bracelet? Oh, that's lovely. (laughs) i got to tell you guys, right, while we're here, while I've got you here... He's going through a new phase, okay? If you have a man or a lady or whatever in your life, okay, 2024, do they happen to go through phases of liking stuff? And how does it come about? Because your latest phase, he says to me, he will fix the brakes on the car. And I'm terrified suddenly because we don't need them right now. Because I just think, you know... You know, there's only so many things that you can teach yourself on YouTube. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm scared from life. I was life. fixing cars when I was like 15. And where are the people now that were driving them, huh? <laughs> They're all <Where>? dead. Because <laughs> I killed them. <laughs> I don't think I've got... Right, I've got my tennis. I love tennis, but that's not a new thing. What was the last thing that I went through that was like a weird phase? Like Susie's going through a phase. I don't think I have any. I'm quite consistent. <laughs> Gucci. That was a good phase. <laughs> That's an expensive <laughs> phase. You know, I have the same Gucci bag because I, I bought one Gucci bag and this guy up in here. Yeah, and then the jumper and then the cardigan. I bought and one the hair of each thing. And... One of each thing. And then I got over it. Jeez. Oh no. So... Flex on them haters. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy recently that was like, ew, why do you have Gucci? Haven't you heard about them? So I was curious. I was like, right, what about them? It's so terrible. And they're like, you just know. <laughs> I don't. So if someone can let me know in the comments, I'd be very intrigued. He says while well, wearing his Nike trainers and on, <laughs> on, his, Lenciaga. on his Apple iPhone. <laughs> but no, because Nike, Nike were like really big, con- while well, eating a Nestle bar. Nike were in a really big controversy about using child labour, and so was oh. Apple. But people just, they're like, yeah, sure, that oh, doesn't I'm happen sorry, anymore. But anyone that goes off about these things, and they're on the internet, and they're, or even pre marked do you know what I mean? Like, everyone is shopping somewhere dodgy. Amazon. Popular, but dodgy. 99% of products on Amazon are literally just taken from Alibaba mm-hmm. and put on Child labor. Am- and put on Amazon. And they've got like fucking, well, essentially slave labor in China. Yeah. On this it's stuff. a big problem, you know? So, but you can't, don't, what I'm saying is if that's the case with Gucci, don't come at me, okay? That phase is over. And yes, you're right. That was quite an expensive phase. I, I was making money at the time. And you know what? I grew up poor, so as somebody that made a bit of money, I was excited, okay? I was wanting to spend my money. Your latest phase seems to be... Cars. Cars. But you had the phase of houses, the guy doing Stop. up the place in the chateau or Also, something. watch it. He's great, okay? Um, uh, Escape to Rural France. Go and watch that. Brilliant channel. Guy's doing up a, a chateau in France. Can and it go? is so good. Can we move to somewhere warm? Because I'm sick of this. I know. We went to Venice for our wedding anniversary and we had four days where it was like the average temperature was about 30. And then at nighttime it went down to about 21-ish. We came back here 
And then it's like you're on the radio and you're just listening to a bit of Sabrina Carpenter, you know. Uh, uh. And it gives you the weather report of like 11. <laughs> I just can't, like, I just wish that Scotland was a bit warmer. A bit warmer because be it's nice. such a beautiful country, you guys. Like, this is when you just get floods of comments. You think that's bad. I live in Antarctica. <laughs> that's your choice. You're choosing that. Okay? No, you're choosing to live in Scotland. Yes, and I've got to complain about that. <laughs> I just think that this country is so beautiful, minus the politics. It is so beautiful, and it it would just be so much better if it was warmer. It would mm. almost be the perfect country, like the countryside and Nessie. Nessie's Maybe it's real. Nessie that's making it cold. Although for the latitude that Scotland's at, it should be a lot colder, and it would be if it wasn't for the Gulf Stream. Oh. Do you know that we're in line latitudinally with Moscow? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, let's and you know what, know. Moscow? Moscow cold. <laughs> yeah, Moscow cold. Let's not do that. So yeah. I don't want no Russian weather. Okay, <laughs> stay over there, basically. Yeah, that's what. Oh no, mind that. That joke is way too soon to be made. Right yeah, now, so I've got no. to I, I, just, I said no politics. Rush, okay. Yeah, let's just stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> you stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what I meant. Do not clip me. Thank you very much. I mean, no, Pot like, Russia, like th- I think that would be a political hill that I would die on. Russia, please stay over there. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> to die anyways, now. hot D. Now this came out last night. I don't know what time it came out for us over here because we were still awake, but it wasn't out at three. So it doesn't come out on Sky in the UK at the same time it comes out on HBO in the States. That is bull. Yeah. Considering that The Last of Us came out at the same time. Yeah. It was like universal, but... Yeah, so we were looking last night and I was like, episode one, yes, episode two, yes, episode three, come on, where's episode three? So we decided to go to bed and watch Markiplier instead. We did watch Markiplier. That was really funny videos. Oh, That's yeah. a really random intro. I feel like we haven't seen each other all day, so we're kind of like... Yeah, I've just... been working. Oh, uh, back to the, the car obsession. Ah, yes, that um, thing. It's because for my company, we're doing a job right now for a big car manufacturer, so I'm dealing a lot with 3D models of cars, so I'm quite and like... cars. I'm quite like fascinated by cars at the moment. And, and that got me watching um, Matt... Armstrong is it? My, oh, I think so. He's a guy. He's a guy on YouTube that rebuilds crash damaged cars, and it's really like really interesting to watch. I mean, I have been watching the same people on YouTube, and it's like three people for the past like ten years. Mm. So I wish that I could broaden my horizons and actually be like, let's try someone new. I just don't. I'm very much like I probably won't like them. <laughs> I don't know, I think, yeah, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just find someone. Hot D. Anyway, House of Dragon stuff's happening. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? I want, like, I want to be why vulnerable. Do I, have a podcast? I want to be vulnerable <clears throat> for a second here. I We watched Breaking Bad, it's coming back yeah. soon. Uh, great good. episode, so good. good. Um, but I still get a little bit of anxiety when we react to House of the Dragon. And I think it's because. People seem to have a, a bit of paper and their pen and they're like, what did she just say? Oh, so we And actually, they hold on to we it. We actually had a comment. It wasn't Hot D, it was on Game of Thrones. You know the scene where, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones and you're watching Hot D or something, we, you know the scene where there's someone running away and someone else has got a, a bow and arrow and he shoots them mm-hmm. from a really long distance. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, that was a good shot. Someone was like, oh, it was a good shot. That's, <laughs> he wasn't even there. He was only running in a straight line. It's like, the better than what I could do. I try to shoot a bow and arrow and go like, plunk. <laughs> you would end up backfiring it. You know and you'd, go, <laughs> you'd be like, how did that even happen? <laughs> Maybe if I had a rifle, I'd be able to hit him. But I mean, you know. I most just people, feel like. I don't like even a, think I'd have been able to hit him with a pistol at that distance. I feel like a bit of a sensitive Sally when it comes to Hot D, because people are holding on to too many things that I say, and when I react, brain is not engaged. Okay? I think it's funny that people pick up on stuff and you're like, can't even remember saying that. Yes. <laughs> and then most of the time I'm just like, I didn't even mean that. 
Yeah, it's like there was there was um, the final episode of Shogun. I said something just pure off the cuff, oh, just Lord. trying to be annoying, and oh. it was like <laughs> it was like World War Three in the comments. You know, we still get comments about that. <laughs> we had one three days ago. <laughs> so funny. The dislikes were warranted on this video. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, they were like, oh, <laughs> now, now I know why this video had more li- uh, dislikes than likes. Which and is I, not true. And I actually checked. I'm like, what weird app are you using? Because that is a lie. I know. I was it's like, like, that's even, not the case. It's not even bad. It's got more dislikes than normal, but it's not like, I wouldn't be like, it's even close to 50-50. Put it this way. Yeah. I'm not losing sleep about it. No. I mean, and the funniest thing is like, YouTube got rid of the forward face and dislike count but also in the back end it's very difficult to see where the dislikes are especially on mobile the thing is a lot of people whinge about like oh well we need dislikes so we can know if a video is worth watching or not blah 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 whatever if the information is trustworthy i don't give a um from a creator standpoint i really don't care like i don't care if someone's clicked the dislike button i actually like we spoke about this before it would take something severe for me to be like, I do not like this, and hit the dislike button. Don't get me wrong. I have hit that dislike button a couple of times. But, yeah, it's not... Like, I, I find it difficult to get into the, the brain of someone that would watch, like, a reaction like this and be like, Oh my god, he supports Rhaenyra. Ugh, dislike. Yeah, like, whatever. Funniest thing is, and I've been saying this for absolute years. Is it really long? People, yeah, I know, I know, I'm getting there. <laughs> people think that if you leave a dislike, that it actually like does something. It does. It actually counts as engagement, and it's beneficial for a video. So. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and with that rant being How's said, hot D, let's delve on into episode three. <laughs> Whoop woo! Team Black! Team Bleen! Team Bleen. Definitely not Team Green! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe she just said that. Listen, alright, I think it's very telling in that last episode the fact that uh, Alison didn't go to see any of her boys. Her, her, son, her son's son just got murdered. And instead of going and comforting her son, she went to Shag McCrispy and her other boy had to go to a brothel to get a bit of, you know, mummy cuddles. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. You know, my team green people, you know. Both sides are falling apart on the inside. Yes. Oh, that's a new one. No, it's not. Okay. Someone's saying this is like the full history of the Targaryen dynasty. Ah, so it's spoilers then. No. His- history. Spoilers. Apparently a guy with a knife in his neck is Magor the Cruel. I can never get my earphones in because... Is that, the pe- is that the people being hung, the rat catchers? Oh, maybe. It's hard to know. But the one before that looked like um, the sister, I forget her name, Aegon's missus. Right, you need to guess whereabouts in Westeros this is, because we nailed, we nailed it last time. Can you even get that thing up? Well enough for killing Blackwoods. <laughs> oh, they're down in the Riverlands, if he's talking about Blackwoods. See, I've been reading the Game of Thrones books. We didn't move them. Oh, did they move themselves then? Just rolled their way over so bracken cows can fill their bellies on blackwood grass. The size of the... The size. He's too young to be using that language. I know. It's bracken land. Ooh. Uh-oh. He's gonna murder him. Don't turn your back! Babe killer. What did you say? Oh! You're a babe killer. You kill the sexy babes. I'm only kidding, it means children. Queen Rhaenyra is a kinslayer. Oh. Your uncle declared for Aegon, did he? Well, news travels fast. Aegon Targaryen is no true king. Yeah! Just as you are no true knight. You're both raven. Little. Ooh. Oh! 
I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. You Why would you attack someone that's got a sword? You dare put your sword on me, you little bitch. You wouldn't dare. I don't know, man. I think he would. No, it looks, it looks craven. Okay. You should probably, you know, be a little bit more aware of who you're pulling swords out against. So was this how their feud started? Because this is like a, a lot no, of it's not. Because this, I remember when Rhaenyra was first there. They these two families were having a a whinge at each other. He is the oh, basest of villains. Eric and Alec. He sullies the grave of his brother. That was a lot of bodies, though. Would a dragon have done that? No, no, that was a fighty fight. That was a square go. Not of those who sent him. He's getting into it, and he's like, "Come on, revenge, mum." Well, yeah, they just sent an assassin. She's just being a little bit calmer just now, thinking through her options. Well, look at it from his perspective. They kill my brother, then they try to assassinate my mum. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. But it's easy enough. They usurped my throne. That's just one answer. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Oh, it's such a horrible sentence. Child beheaded. Mm -mm. Or when Luke took Eamon's eye. I mean, it was before that. None of it will matter. When the desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. You have to bend your knees, you're going to use that sword back, don't you? There another way. Alicent Hightower. When last we met, Alicent said I would make a fine queen. You've seen what has happened since then. She came to me in the hours after your Lord Father's death. She knows war is coming, and that it'll be savage beyond all compare. Oh, I'd love the two of them to, like, meet up. That'd be so good. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. I do not believe she wants it. She sent a raven. I do not care to read her message. Ah, oh, you need to read the message! She permitted it. I don't know she's got that much control. The murder of a little boy in his bed. There you go. As if she would have anything to do with that and be okay with that. Her son sits my throne. There is nothing more to be said. Having communication with someone on the other side is such a strength. Like, you shouldn't just shut that off. Whether it's Alison or not. Only, they'll be waiting. I get where she's coming from. Like, she's pretty angry at the situation and probably just thinks, like, why would I go anywhere near them? Like, they're the enemy. I feel like she needs to be a bit smarter just now. Oh, she's still thinking of her son, isn't she? It's gone past that. What, Luke? Oh, yeah, like, well, it's as she just said, like, people will start to forget, like, what's even going on at this point. There'll just be so much anger mm. between sides. Oh, what was that look up and down? Oh, maybe you should stand up straight when your Lord Commander walks in. My Lord. <clears throat> what was that on the table? Just a sweet snooker cue. The snooker cue is snooker ball. So weird, the hand of the king. <laughs> new to the king's guard, your grace. To replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. Ooh. House Bracken took it upon themselves to attack the Blackwoods, who declared for the pretender. Lord Samuel Blackwood himself is slain. Good. First blood in our name. Both sides took heavy losses, Your Grace. I'm not entirely certain we can declare this a victory. You can declare what you want. Call it what you will. I call it war. Oh, it's all he wants, though, isn't he? That's not your dagger. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, Chadley, what are we gonna do about it? Hand of the king. My lord brother Jason is raising a great army at Castley Rock. 
In a matter of weeks, he will be able to harass the Blackwoods from the West. Should we not aim to unite? Can you imagine what he would do if he wife. found out his mum sent a raven to Renita? Mm. Oh my God, he'd go crazy. I will turn the Crown land houses who declared for Rhaenyra to our cause. We will add their numbers to our own and then turn west, where I will enlist the Brackens, subdue the Riverlands, and take Harrenhal. Okay, I'm really surprised that he even has a plan at this point. But bold scheme indeed. Well, the gods favor the bold. They did not favor Sir Eric. <laughs> what say you, my king? Oof. Vega will remain here. To defend the city. Good. To war, then. Oh, it's a clip from a trailer. I'll come too with Sunfire. Egg on. Your grace. You'll need a dragon. And the king being there is a good idea. That is precisely why you must remain, brother. It's a brave thought. But we cannot risk your loss. God, it's the smartest thing I think I've ever I heard him say. Any of them. Yeah, don't be hiding behind your mother's skirts. Oh, bless her. She's trying her hardest to get her voice out at the table and it, it's just not working. He, but he does need to show that he's not craven. You wish to be rewarded? As I would think, you would wish to reward me. What price would you set? She did save the your life. It's your court. That's easy enough. I know the workings of the Red Keep and the movements of those who serve there. That is worth more than gold, do you know? Yeah, she's a good spider to have. I know the struggles of the small folk of King's Landing. They will be ruled either by you or by the usurper. And only one of you has shown yourself to be merciful. No. I hope you do not confuse mercy with pliancy. She's giving you a compliment, jeez. Sea smoke, my late lord husband's dragon. It's grown restless of late. I cannot know why. Maybe oh. he's lonely. Oh. Probably. I mean, how is it that she can figure it out? She doesn't have a dragon. Oh. <laughs> the Red Keep is in disarray. They have sent one assassin in the night, and their dragons are ever a short flight away. You must take the little ones further. To Pentos, I think. When my mother died. It is safer than anywhere in Westeros. Oh. I'm sorry to put this upon you. It breaks my heart to send my boys away, not knowing when I will see them again. But you have seen what may befall them here. Well, that's it. I mean, considering you had someone come in the middle of the night, yeah. you need to start <clears throat> splitting people up. Yeah, send the wee ones away. I need Bailey here. Because she has a dragon. I cannot promise to make you happy. But I ask you, make this sacrifice willingly. For all of us. No grace. That's a lot to put on her. That's it, the Queen's requesting something of you, okay? Be honoured. That's the problem though, when it's all family. I feel like you can always kind of show a bit more emotion. Like if the Queen came to someone else and was like, do this, you would just be like, yes! See if the Queen came to me and asked me to do something, I'd freak the f*** out because she That's because she did! <laughs> I want to see where Damien's gone. You know, it still doesn't feel like the Queen's gone. It's really not something I tend to think about, if I'm honest. I think that's the problem. I think that's why it feels like so good. Is that wormy? I can't tell. It's too dark. Is that not Harrenhal, though? I'm glad you remember the name of these bloody places, because I don't. Well, Harrenhal's like... The, the, the cursed keep. The one that's absolutely gubbed because it got melted by dragons. And basically anyone who becomes Lord of Harrenhal just dies. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> It was a place where Arya was... Maybe that's not Harrenhal, because it seems a bit empty. A place where Arya was the, the little servant. Girl. Right. That's pouring wine. If that was me, man, I would have been forward rolling down those stairs. <laughs> just, in, just in case a boulder comes down after you. Pretty much. What do you intend to do with your sword just running forward like that? I'm not an expert, but it seems a bit weird. What dragon is he after? Uh oh. What else do you expect him to do with his sword? He's gonna poke people with. You look cool like this! No. 
No, you want to get inside the garden, stick them. With stick the, the pointy end. end. Such a beautiful place. If you're not creeped out, of course, because yeah. I'd be creeped out. Would you not be afraid that your armour might rust? <laughs> Just give it a good wash when you get home. Whatever home is for him now. Who is he expecting to be here? I'm sure those people are supposed to be at Harren... As if it is at Harren Hall. But yeah, I'm sure he's expecting people. Or dragons. Oh! oh. That's the first person you got to speak to and you punched him in the face! Okay, well, they make the round table room look very nice. The rest of it could do with some plastic. Claiming Aaron Hall. That's Aaron Hall, there you go. Apparently so. <laughs> oh, I like this chair. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to rub stuff. I, Sir Simon Strong, Castellan of Aaron Hall. Pledge fealty to Rhaenyra of House Targaryen, first of her name. I swear this by the old gods and the new. Supper is venison with black cabbage and peas. Ew. No red currant. Sorry about that. <laughs> he probably wants them to pledge to him, not Rhaenyra. I don't think so. <laughs> that venison is well aged. Shame to let it waste. See if someone eats me, I hope that's what they say about me. Oh, she's a good age. Mm. I'll admit that my cook's peas aren't exactly the stuff of legend, but poison? Right, it's an easy way to kill a dragon rider. That's a woman's weapon. Ah. That's, a, that's a big thing in Game of Thrones. Do you not think it's strange that his father, my nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire, and his son too? Here, in this damp place. Hmm. It was the first fire here since Balerion ended the line of Harren the Black. Even in summer we struggled to light the hearths. So no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Your grace. Remember it was Laris that got them, that killed them. Mm-hmm. Forgive me, I, I, um... I... I'd only assumed that as consul... Then we are reminded of the perilousness of assumption. Indeed. <laughs> Your Grace. Why is he so on edge just now? It's too easy. Yeah, well, that is precisely why we must bring it into a state of repair. Even if we possess the coin, my prince. <laughs> <laughs> Houses Bracken and Blackwood have long detested one another. Why? Oh, well. The answer to that is lost with time. Lost in time. <laughs> well, that's what they were talking yeah. about with this current war. Yep. Nobody will know. That would be Lord Grover Tully, but he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak, nor seal his bowels. Mm. He's begging your pardon for the impression. His grip on his bannerman is weak. They feel they can do as they please. He reminds me of Sam. He's like an old Sam. <laughs> Perhaps the presence of the crown and a dragon will sharpen minds around these parts. It's really good that he's there, if Crispy's thinking about marching. If you are successful, well, when you are successful, what then? Rightly worded. Mm -hmm. We good march save. on King's Landing and take the throne. The throne? <laughs> I mean, what else? What do you think we're doing here? A big chair. <laughs> Made, Made of swords. swords. <laughs> <laughs> Just if you didn't know. I know that you're like 80, but... I love that. A good dad joke. Good dad joke. Oh, it's a unicorn. See that? That joke is long dead. It was a unicorn! That's a wee pointy bit on its head. He's like, who's she talking to? Meh. So, Kristen. See, I told you, Sir Gordon. Sir Gwen Hightower. Arrived <clears throat> last night from Altown. Sir Kristen. Looks like the brother of that young guy that got sworded at the start. 
How exhilarating to arrive at court after three long months on the road to find my lord father, who served three kings faithfully, unseated his hand of the king. Oh. And by a man from such modest beginnings. Oh. What a giddying ascent. Oh, if only you knew about Chadley as well, the things he's done. Wayne has volunteered to accompany you into battle. He's going to get him killed. It's funny, do you think that Alicent's kind of fell out with him after the full hand of the king thing? Oh yeah, 100%. The march will be hard, sir. I know a woman scorned when I see it. Sister. No one takes him seriously at all. Everyone's really angry of this situation. Yeah. May the seven guide you. Good night. And lead you not into shadow and death. I thank your grace for her prayers. Can you say it like you feel it though? <laughs> All the best! Grant her favour. That her Lord Commander may go into battle with her blessings. In his heart. No. <laughs> Are you gonna have my chicken pasty? Your grace. I was going to say, I hope he didn't see that. Why? Well, we don't want to arouse suspicion, okay? Don't arouse anything when it comes to Chadley. <laughs> Not anymore, hopefully. He doesn't even deserve the name Chadley. No, he doesn't. That's it. But it's too, like, it's too far gone. Well, he's, already, he's already acquired the name of Chadley. We can't revoke. I actually hate it when new people come to season <laughs> two. Why you call him Chadley? And they'll be like, who's Chadley? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that really got me. Did that raven have three eyes though? I don't know, I didn't see. Odin is watching. <clears throat> Come on, yeah, yeah, oh, stop. <laughs> read the raven! No horses. Don't read the raven, read the message. No dragons. Good. Then we must seize the hour and act before our enemy does. Seize the day. How fares Prince Damon with our army? There has been no word from Prince Damon, Your Grace. He's actually on his way to KFC, that's last I heard. If dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Fear of it is in itself a weapon. The Greens will make the same calculation. <laughs> Dude, know your place. Yeah. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself somewhere safe. Well, we remain here as a source of distraction for no. the enemy. Uh, no. Don't know if we've got the trust really there yet. It would be treason. Oh. You are fortunate you took it no further. Yeah, remember Game of Thrones when you're having convos like that this behind the scenes? Be well mm -mm. Where's the crown of my grandsire? Jaehaerys the Conciliator. A prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings, whose reign outlasted every other, even Aegon the Conqueror's. Oh. Thoughts remain in the brain. Okay, guys? Yeah. Nera's counsel is wayward. She has a hard task. I must hope she will rise to it. But I fear she'll need you by her side sooner than late. This bread is still warm. I... Is this happening because she's a woman? as well no i think they just they well maybe maybe because she's a woman but i i think they see more of her dad where it's like oh i don't really want to go to war i don't want to kill people we yeah need to sort of do and they're this. like trying to overturn that but i do think it is a smart smart decision one of those babes is your heir joffrey that's just the name I know, I know. no reina lord of the tides the girl knows nothing of ships. Teacher. I was going to say, you can teach kids anything. Then we must hope to make a new one. And if there is no time, we are at war, Corlys. He's awfully calm at the moment, is he? Considering. Well, yeah. That I am a good sailor. But she doesn't want to lose you again. She thought she lost you already. He was gone for like four years, was he not? Something like that. I have much to attend to. 
Why are you not listening to your lady? Always listen to your lady. Makes life easier. We're always right. If only people did as they were bloody well told, <laughs> none of this would be happening. Well, she's doing as she's told. No, I mean the throne and... Hmm. I cannot spare a fighting dragon, but I said what I can. Stormcloud and Tyraxes are small, but they will grow. Well, what about, what about smoke, Smokestack, or whatever it's called? You do a great service, and may yet find yourself glad to be out of harm's way. Do not coddle me, Bela. Grant me at least that dignity. I meant no insult. We each do what we can. I'd be raging to be sent away from my uh, sister. Tyraxes and Stormcloud are young and vulnerable. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to ruin here? Should. You will bear our hope for the future. I wonder if those turn into the same eggs that did I know. Skips. As soon as I seen the eggs, I was like, what color are they? Aww. Kids never understand. It's for your safety. Yeah. We already lost one. It's actually mental to me how Rhaenyra looks in this show and then when you see her in real life with her short hair, I'm like, who is she? Yeah. I don't even recognize her. I much prefer the long hair, I gotta say. Do it, girl. Be strong. I wonder if they shaved their hair for short wigs. for the wig, yeah. Maybe. It's a lot harder when you're having to be blonde versus Alison that's got yeah. dark hair. Alison's ginger. It's still dark hair. Is ginger dark? Right? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> you're just twisting everything I'm saying today. You're, you're you, being very annoying. Just, just annoying me today. I feel like I'm on edge. I can't say anything without like... Nah, 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 Telling you, man. Why are you being mean to me? Because you're being mean to me. I get bullied. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Queenie. Hashtag not my queen. <laughs> I feel sad about Jaharis. <laughs> but I ought not to, I think. As people die all the time. Ah! Especially babes. Um. They're so little, so they're taken so easily. No, you're allowed to feel sad. Sadness is a condition of motherhood. There's not to be gained from it. She's got a point, but... You're allowed to grieve your child. A session where the small folk all stared at me. I warrant they thought I had no more right to grief than they do. I don't think they really thought about that. I love you, Harris, but my concern has been more for you and what you have endured. Hello. Uh, I... I forgive you. Why could she not say equally? Mm. You grieve equally. I said that I forgive you. Oh no. She knows about the raven. No, it's not that. So she knows about lighting a candle for Luke. Like. Marion <laughs> Steel. Oh, Chadley. She knows about Chadley. I feel like she knows about something that's not happened yet. What is your business? There are rumours that the king readies himself to fly to war. Hmm, what is it to you? Oh yeah, why are you just allowed this close? Prevent our king from being brutally Every time. enemies and his body parts scattered to beasts and his court come to ruin, would you not agree? How are you just letting this man in this room if it was anyone else? I was given the conqueror's name and his crown, so I shall wear his armor to war. I fly to meet Sir Criston. Small imposition before you depart then, Your Grace. Imagine just being like, just get, get rid of all these people, mate. I'm I know, get out. I need to have a conversation with you. Right before you go to war. Mental. Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counsellors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston so the Queen Alison may reign in his absence. With Prince Aemon at her side. I think he's twisting this here. Oh, of course he is, but why? Did Alison tell him to? Tales take on a life of their own. My weeds, unless they are tended. Well, tend to them then. 
he just got his hands dirty as well. He's like, oh, I'm not having people think that my mum's taken over. Mm -hmm. My father always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. I was going to say. And yet, I find myself wanting for one. You're hired. I should be glad of your talents. Knew it was coming. Oh, and he knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, his little, thank you so much. And then he walks out like, yeah, wind in his hair and... Like, uh, what was that wrestler called? We escort you to the dragon pit, your grace. <sighs> oh my God. The guy with the dark hair. The, the, the slow-mo that his hair is like, yeah. Yeah. God, I think it? mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. Ah, I can't believe that one conversation worked. So Martin has a new squire that wants bedding in. He's never f***ed a woman. Well, you're sworn to chastity now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your grace. Yes. That's the guys he gets drunk with, isn't it? Like, on the throne. Yes, your grace. <laughs> yep, yeah, we're sworn to chastity, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes. He's just messing with his. Do you think Alison put him up to that? You need some Windex on that mirror. Yeah, he does. Alison put Laris up to yeah. that. Yeah. No, I think Laris just made it up so that he could get more pull with Aegon. I don't think Laris owes any or has any allegiance to Alison. Mm. I think he had. He had his feet picks. Well, I think he had trust with Alison as far as Alison could advance his position. And now he knows that he can just mold Aegon into it. Yeah. What, do you not greet people like that? I do! Yeah, that's the way all men greet each other. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, it's a legend, Dave! Always Dave. Always Dave. <clears throat> right, he's dying. This guy's dying. Everyone loves him. I've had quite a day of it. Yeah. Not sure I'm much for talking. Although, you know, a wet whistle works wonders. <laughs> I was going to say a wet willy. I was like, what? A wet willy works wonders. Oh, yeah. It's alliteration, that, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Is that a sexual assault, sir? <laughs> You're getting cancelled on Twitter. Who was your grandson? They call him the conciliator. Well, oh. oh. thousand apologies. Please continue. Look, no, I probably shouldn't be telling you this. Could cost me my head. You're saying you're a Targaryen. Shh, shh, shh. This is we David in the pub and Oh yeah, hundred percent. Spreading those rumors. Tongue oh, absolute fish. Of Balon the Brave. Bastard brother to Prince Damon. And the late King Viserys. Uncle to the one true queen, Renera Targaryen. I'm gonna have to see your driving license here. <laughs> I'll just see your ancestry.com, brother. A dragon seed must watch his own neck when he has no white cloak guardsman to do it for him. They don't believe this, surely. How do you know what they look like? Yeah, he speaks truth right enough. Look, you can tell by his hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you who else doesn't have silver hair. The rightful heir to the Iron Throne, my nephew, Prince Jaceris Valarian. Yeah, Jace doesn't have silver hair. Wait, uh -oh. why did the music stop? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You were supposed to be going somewhere, huh? Oh, Uh-oh, I wonder if Laris has pointed him out as the... At the pleasure of the crown! The rumour starter. <laughs> oh god, he's pooping himself, look. Sit yourself down. Sit. Do yourself a favour and just leave, go home early. Oh, okay, so this is the... It's nice. Kingsguard. So he is getting the Kingsguard is is Willy wet. A lad, and he's only like sixteen now. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> I know, just the dude of you, my boy. <laughs> Listen, my see oh, Jesus Christ. I was not ready. For that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, that was a really fake Willy. I was gonna say something, but let's not go on about that. <laughs> See, if the king was taking me out to get pissed, man. Oh, uh oh. Hey, bro! 
<laughs> Aiming the fierce. He's <laughs> <laughs> such a. <laughs> <laughs> what a fine, sweet thing. <laughs> Did you oh fuck like a hound? Woo! 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 <laughs> Once again, Eamon getting bullied by his brother. Such mm -hmm. is the madam's prowess that even now my brother will not sample another. <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, how yeah, honourable, right? As you can see, she she's now very much occupied. Like, it's a good trait to stick with one woman, but let's laugh. I mean, she's a whore. Your squire is welcome to her. <laughs> one horse is as good as another. He doesn't believe that. No. God, man, your brother's such a... Why do I feel like... He's Aemon's gonna just kill gonna, him. Well, let's be honest here. Aegon was the one in, char in, in charge, but... Um, Causing like, the bullying. Not a lot of the bullying when they were kids. Yeah, and he's still doing it now, and the problem is he's king. Mm -hmm. So he can get other people to do it too. Although, none of his king's guard actually joined in with that. Which I thought was quite nice. I mean, you'd be stupid too. It's Aemon. You'd have to have some amount of balls to go after Aemon. Yes, yes. Read the note. Read. <laughs> Read. I would be too nosy. I think of it this way, she's not gonna send you something to then gloat. Might do. <clears throat> Tell me what it said! <laughs> yeah, so the king's not coming. I assure you, my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. If it soothes your brow, Cole, we will rendezvous with your army at first light. You're dealing with a highborn. What is he what looking at? Dragon coming? Hmm. Cole? Uh oh. Oh, yes! Is that Damon on his way? <clears throat> yeah, don't be right in the Warby! middle. Don't be right in the middle of a field when you've got dragons. That's not Wormy. Nope. Careful! So is she just scouting the riverlands then? Oh, for goodness <clears throat> sakes. We are not gonna lose another one. No. Who's gonna attack her? There's no one there. No, someone might have a super long sword. <laughs> like maybe so crispy will be. Crispy! crispy! <laughs> Go on, girl! Ah! And then whoever this new guy is, he can be the one. Oh, their ponies are hugging. That was sweet. The new guy is Allison's brother. Yeah, but we haven't really seen much of him. Oh, why didn't you just set fire to the full forest? You, you had them in your sights, you could have. She was just flamethrowing. I mean, I know there's wildlife there and it's not very nice, oh, but. You can always plant more trees. Come on, dragon, sniff them out. Oh, you smell so good, Chad, they so good. You would be tinder pants. Oh yeah. But she's kind of freaking me out as well. I'm worried that there's something else down there. No, I just gonna give up. Yeah, you better run, Chadley. We'll be back. Well, I don't want anything bad to happen to Allison's brother. Ah, whatever. It's just collateral. I'm in your dead. They know we're abroad, they'll be hunting. And we must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. And no f***ing inns. Sorry, I just thought about actually having sex with an inn. But I did. Could you be certain it was cold from such a great height? It was not such a great height, Your Grace. She died after them. You said not to engage, so I didn't. Oh. Exactly. Your Grace. <laughs> but I did spook them. 
Prince Damon has Caraxes. Cole will look to increase his numbers, and he may call upon a dragon of his own. This is why you must act now, Your Grace. Can we get one person talking at a time? There's too much in my ear. She still has feelings for Chadley. Nah, I doubt it. I have heard your arguments. And we'll consider them. <sighs> no, give us an answer! I don't think she should act rashly though. But you need to have a bit of a plan. She's not doing anything just now. The only person that's actually doing something is Damon. God, it's like our house. <laughs> oh, I've got another one. <laughs> Let's have fix all the leaks. For now. So you get when you've got a big castle. I'm with you, buddy. I wouldn't be able to sleep through that. It's got swords on the door. <laughs> nope. Can I help you? See, if you weren't trying to kill me, you'd say, hello, Damon. This blasted door is always bloody stuck. Oh, is it the ghosts of Harren Hall? Just stay in your room, they'll come back. Just pretend to be sleeping. I just feel sorry for that guardsman that got his shit punched in. <laughs> oh, is it the lady that gave him the eyes? Okay. Always coming and going, aren't you? Is this a ghost? Oh, I think he's tripping balls. And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh. Oh my god, it's sewing the head back on. Ah! Yeah, tripping balls. My baby Renira is sewing the head of a child back onto the body. Like, go back to sleep, you're tripping balls. Yeah, what was that? Oh! Oh, he's at the tree! It's a heart tree. Oh! I know who the hell am I seeing. That was the chick that was in the. You will die in this place. She's Scottish. You're all going to die down here. <laughs> Resident Evil. Yeah, you should probably get out of there. Why well, has that never become Lord of Harrenhal? Well, you <clears> said <throat> it. <clears throat> Thank you, Alindra. Your Grace. She's going to tell her about the message. What a cool room. What do you know of the movements of Alicent Hightower? Would you take her hostage? Or kill her outright? I would speak with her myself. Aww. Killing her would be easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would. I must see her. Face to face. Tough one. She is the Queen Dowager. She goes nowhere without many eyes watching her. Except Unless. to the Hall of the Seven. Also, when she sleeps with Chadley. But if I'm recognised? You may be surprised to learn it, but most folk pay no mind to a woman who has not dressed as a queen or... Lured herself with the eyes of men. Get a wig? Hair dye? There is one place Alicent goes. Outside the castle walls. Where you may yet find her alone. Yeah, when she's praying. Oh, imagine they were to both be back there at the same time. That would be oh, such a scene. Oh. Isn't it so funny that season one was all about like... Are you team Rhaenyra? Are you team Alicent? And now I feel like it's the men causing all these fighty fighty issues and the women are coming together. Yeah, but at the end of the day they both still they both won't agree on who they who should be on the throne. Oh my god, she does look like a A nun. Oh what are they called? She still looks Shame. quite Shame! 
Shay. Yeah, she still looks quite well to do though. Yeah, but I feel like the nuns would be. Because she, obviously to me, she stands out. Yeah, it's not the Silent Sisters. I forget the name of them. Oh god, this is such a risk and you know that she's told no one that she's doing this. So if it goes wrong, that's it. If it goes wrong, I think it would be very clear that people would say about the Queen being <laughs> like taken hostage. And that was where, that was where the Eric and Eric had their first fight, think of Yeah. It. Your heart would be going crazy, you're like, there she is. I know, it would be mental. I wonder if you would feel, like, for a second, you're like, that's my buddy, I need to go get my buddy. So funny, this just reminds me of Assassin's Creed. Why did that guy have a knife? I was gonna say. Oh, Christ. Who's paid you to kill Rhaenyra? Yeah, it reminds me of Assassin's Creed because there's sections in that where you blend into like priests mm. and you put your head down and walk with them. This is gonna be insane. Oh, she's oh, gonna Jesus. Just, she's just gonna pull up next to her and be like, "Hey, sis." Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay. Oh my god. Thought we could have a chat. Just like old times, huh? I wonder if you'd recognize her scent before you realized. <gasps> uh oh. If I could cry out, your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. Do not before I killed you. She doesn't want to kill you. And then what? Fuck knows. <laughs> oh, I've begun badly. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you reached out first, Alison. That doesn't look a good idea, was it? <laughs> we knew even then. But men trained up for battle are eager to fight, to see blood and glory. But you, I, I, I know you do not have that desire within you. Oh, you, you think that Alison, Alison's got the power to do anything? I have come to see if we may uncover some path towards peace. My dragons are restless; they smell battle. I've come for a truce, Alison. I've come to terms. There are no terms now. No, of course not. I am a mother too, and you have yet to answer for the murder of my son. I repudiate that act with all my heart. Of course you do. I'm usurping my rightful inheritance. It's got a point there. This is why it's like it's very nice that you try to come to terms, but it's never going to happen. Yeah, there's the too many things that have happened. Well, just at the end of the day, she wants Aegon to be king, and you want to be queen. Like it's never going to happen. I saw the king that night. Mere oh. hours before I left him, he had affirmed my right to the throne. A right he upheld steadfastly every day of his life after my mother died. Up yeah, that conveniently. One, one convenient moment. Yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> you lie. No, no. Yes, a man smashed out on opiates. And we all know that that's not what he meant. But even if he did say that, it was out of space. When was your plan first laid? Was your ambition so keen? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. The, the crazy thing is you can see in her eyes that she means what she's saying, but it's not right. But she believes it. Yeah. I pronounced before all gathered in that room that you would make a fine queen. Do you think me capable of such naked deceit? If the, the shoe fits. Then what are we supposed to do? So, so now what? What did he say at the end? Did he speak my name? Nope. Oh, bless her. Questions you just don't ask. He was weary. It was hard at times to understand. He was out of space and opiates. But he spoke Egon's name. But she knew the other story of Egon, didn't she, Rhaenyra? 
Wood? I desire peace as you do, but if it's ever to My father used those words. The prince that was promised. Did he? Yes, he did. Oh. Here you go. He spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. No, he didn't. It's a story he once told. <laughs> About Egon the Conqueror. Oh, Alison! Oh, God! The realisation! <laughs> yep. You got it wrong, girl. You got it wrong. Sorry, Alison. He was just, he was, he was taught about a story. Go before you are discovered. There's been a mistake. There's been no mistake. Please. Uh-oh. You can prevent this, Alison. It's too late. She can't say anything. You can't get Egon off the throne. Do not let your pride blind you. There's been no mistake. Yeah, that's what you think just now. That is going to eat at her. My father has gone from court. Court is on the march, Eamon. You know what Eamon is? I mean, Eamon's feckless, but he's not it's like... Alison. Yeah, it's too late. I reckon that that's going to eat Alison. And that's I, coming out to egg on I think Alison's going to do something stupid. Her face. Her face when she realized he mm -hmm. was just telling a story. It doesn't matter though, because the day that she went in the room, regardless to what he said, the boys had decided. Oh, yeah, this was already the had a plan, yeah. Of course. You know? <coughs> but it's the fact that she was dying on that hill. Yeah. yeah. And now she realizes that nothing changed. Oh. Well, that's the, the only way that she could justify all of this to herself was that. Viserys wanted <laughs> just went through puberty there Viserys wanted Aegon on the throne yeah because he says that Aegon was the prince that was promised so Otto has <clears throat> thrown it out there to Aegon where he was just like my father and he was like hmm is that what you think so he's already got that one doubt in his head mm -hmm. when it eventually comes out from Alison, he's going to be like Wait a minute here. That's two people now. He's gonna lose his marbles. Jake Allison will say to Aegon no, or do you think that Allison will just end up like I think it'll come out in an feeling argument. Feeling like things have went too far and she'll just like I think it'll come out in an argument of mm. some kind. I think Aegon will do something that he shouldn't have done and Mid argument, she'll scream it out to him. Yeah, and you know what she's got to scream? You were not the prince that was promised. I bet you that's what happens. I bet that's the line that she used. Because yeah. that'd be epic. <laughs> oh, that was just <clears throat> so symbolic at the end there, and so like pulling on your heartstrings from the first episode. Oh yeah, even even like um, Damon seeing baby Rhaenyra. Yeah. And his mistakes yeah. haunting him, you know. Oh, it was such a good episode. It was so good. It was a great really, episode. Really enjoyed that. It was one of those, again, where it's like you didn't need the action. The action was all the storytelling mm -hmm. and just, oh, God. I hate that I have to wait a week for these. I know. I wish we now, just like, them. Right, I, I need to know, like, what the heck is the fallout from that? You say that, but, like... We were watching The Mole and we just binged the entire show. The Mole is amazing. Netflix, The Mole. Go so watch it. Ah, all right, you guys. I can't wait for next week. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, my heart's just like... <laughs> anyway, you guys, we will see you next week for the next episode of Hot Damn! I hope she's alive and she hasn't murdered me. There's a chance. There's always a chance. If anything happens, I didn't do it. Didn't do it to myself. Sure. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.